I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tack, and today we're at Mark Meek Saddle Shop in Weatherford, Texas, and a lot of times when you get a custom-made saddle, you'll notice that the latigo is put on with a real pretty little knot. Well, the first thing when we do this knot, it's best to have your, your piece of lace that you'll use to lace it on beveled on the back side. And then it's, easy, it's easily, if you'll go ahead and run the lace through your, your saddle soap, paste saddle soap, so it'll slide through easier. And we start like, like we did on the, like Dennis shows you, will show you how to do a, a traditional way to put the latigo on. That's the same, and then the, the, the two in the back will come back up through the top hole, and you'll try not to get twist in in your your lace, and pull that up smooth. Like so. Please, there we go. And it's also nice if you have a pair of pliers to help pull things snug for you. But on this particular knot to tie on, we go back through the two bottom holes. As so. Now we'll need this tool again to really open up these holes. Try not to puncture the lace and then we kind of twist this up and we'll bring this back down through and then we'll catch it on the back side with the plier. Now to have this where it is neat we need to reach in here and give this a twist so that this will, when we pull it, this will be smooth on the back. And it really doesn't matter when we pull this back up, whether it's smooth or whether the rough out is up. I'll tighten that up a little tighter in just a minute. And then likewise, we do the other side the same way. Okay, and we bring, whoops, there we go on this side. Now, I can catch the, the end pointed in and like so. And then we'll twist, do the twist on that again. And we'll tighten that back up. We'll go ahead and tighten everything down much tighter and then this is the back side raise that up slide this under there slide the other one And then we'll cut these off. And then to finish it off, we put something hard back behind it. You, we, I hold this on the saddle when I do it, but then we just take and flatten that out. And that's how we end up with that knot. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtack.com.